lives. And I just pray that you just uh, bless the ones that's ill, Father, that you'll just be with them, and you'll just heal their bodies and just let your will be done in their lives. I pray that you just guide and lead and direct us and just be with us always. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Y'all worship with us as we sing to God be the glory. To God be the glory, great things he hath done. So loved he the world that he gave us his son. Who yielded his life and atonement for sin. And opened the life gate that all may go in. Praise the Lord. the Son, and give Him the glory, great things He hath done. Oh, perfect redemption, the purchase of blood, to every believer the promise of God, the vilest offender, who truly believes that moment from Jesus a pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father. Through Jesus the Son, and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Great things he has taught us, great things he has done, and great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But purer and higher and greater will be our wonder, our victory, when Jesus we see. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Good morning. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to say today is a special day because our country at this time was uh, attacked and it's also another special time that we're celebrating the birth of Jesus and so the offering prayer is really special and I want all of you to be part of it today when I finish the prayer because when you go to a football or basketball game some of you are yelling and screaming and you're really involved well are you really involved in this celebration of birth of Jesus so let's let the roof vibrate Yell as loud as you can, amen, when I'm done with the prayer. <laughs> dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you so much for all you've given us, dear Lord. And just yesterday, dear Lord, I saw so many things that happened just in one day. We had things that were accomplished here. We had the celebration, dear Lord, of preparing this celebration with those outdoors we also were blessed with food that those that came to see, dear Lord, some that haven't matter, ever been through these doors, that we are blessed that we could share with them. 
And I'm so happy to see so many involved, from little children to the elders, dear Lord, that were involved, that want to serve. And so <clears throat> it's a great honor, dear Lord, that we give back to you all the blessings you've given us. And I thank you that you brought us this far, dear Lord, as we did have a very tough struggle in World War II. I hope that we don't have to go through something like that again to bring us all together, dear Lord. But the greatest thing of all is Jesus, that he came to give us peace and joy. That's the one thing, no matter what we go through, suffering and pain, dear Lord, that no matter what, when we take our last breath, there is a paradise we can't even imagine. So I thank you, dear Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Pops will be there shortly. Grandma, are those cookies done yet? Yes, yes, the last batch is cooling. We better get going. We better hurry because we're going to meet the kids and grandkids at the church. I don't need that. I'm just going to wear this.
good morning, everybody. <clears throat> we just appreciate everybody that's here this morning. Uh, if you have children, children up here, we thank you for letting them participate. And uh, Miss Timmy and the children have worked very hard on the program. We hope that it's a blessing to you, and we hope that you enjoy it. I now present to you our children's choir.
God so loved the world, God so loved the world. For God so loved the world, God so loved the world. Wasn't that a great job? Good job, kids. I have some great news. Granny and Grandpa has invited us over for uh, cookies and hot chocolate. Don't that sound fun? Yeah. But before we go, could I ask you to bow with me for player, please? Father, we just thank you for the opportunity to be here this morning and uh, be in your house, Father. We thank you for all of these children and the hard work that they've put into this, and uh, we just pray that you bless them, Father. We thank you for your son, Jesus, that you give us. Uh, we thank you for the hope that he brought to this world all those years ago. And I would like to pray for our military men and women around the world and our missionary workers, and we just... Uh, Thank you for everything. We pray that you be with us as we go our separate ways today and <coughs> uh, bring us back safely tonight. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I go in first.
sit wherever you okay well I'm just Ladies, if you excuse us, I need to borrow your husband's. I have an issue with something in the garage. We'll be back in a few minutes. We'll be real quick. Now, we know that Grandpa is not going to just take a few minutes. We know how he is. So, uh, all the way back. Hey, kids, why don't you come over here for a second? Why don't you gather around? Let's gather all around. Back, all the way back, they said. All right, everybody over here, over here. Come over here, spread around over here. Let Maddie sit there. All right. All right, so what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to sing a few favorite Christmas songs. Grandma, would you like to play for us for a few minutes here so we can play, sing some Christmas songs? Okay, so what's a favorite Christmas song? Jingle bells. Okay, let's sing jingle bells. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails sing, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. All right, does anybody know any more? Santa Claus is coming to town. Almost act like it was scripted. Okay. <coughs> Out. You better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why, Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list, he's checking it twice, he's gonna find out who's naughty and nice, Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping, he knows if you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better not shout, you better not cry, you better not pout. I'm telling you why Santa Claus is coming to town. Good job, everybody. How about uh, Grandma got run over by a reindeer? No, Mitchell. We are not. <laughs> Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Thanks for helping me. Appreciate it. Uncle Gaines, will you sing your favorite song? I love that song. All right, Maddie, I'll sing that Stop song. Line up so we can help Uncle Gaines sing the song.
my family and church family, we're so proud you're here. Since we're celebrating the life of Christ, the birth of Christ, let's sing happy birthday to Jesus. So y'all stand up and let's sing. Happy birthday, Jesus, we all love you so. We show love and thought for you with shiny things that glow. We don't have no gold, frankincense, armor. All we have is lots of love to show we're thankful for your birth. We're gonna ring the golden bells early Christmas morn and sing up to the heavens on the day the King was born. We give to friends and loved ones Cause everybody knows Lovely gifts were given to Jesus From the wise men long ago Everybody stand and sing Happy birthday Sing it loud and let the angels hear Bring the cake, make a wish and light the candles, sing the song, happy birthday to you. Everybody stand and sing, happy birthday, sing it loud and let the angels hear it. Bring the cake, make a wish, and light the candles. Sing the song, happy birthday to you. Sing the song, happy birthday to you. Well, they did a wonderful job, amen? amen? Go ahead and make your way to your parents uh, so they don't leave without you. <coughs> we uh, wanted to invite you back tonight, and tonight we have our journey to Bethlehem, and it's a wonderful program. If you've not experienced that, you need to come back and be a part of that, and I hope that you will. But more importantly than that, and the greatest thing of all is this, uh, that we understood the message of Christmas. And as the children sing in the choir, they sing about the meaning of Christmas. As we saw the, the drama, we saw the meaning of Christmas. But here's the key. Here's the key. If you don't have Jesus in your life, you're missing Christmas. So, I would be amiss if I did not give everyone that's here the opportunity to respond. And if you have never given your heart to Jesus Christ, today you can. If you will all stand with me, this is called an invitation, and it's an opportunity for you to come and say, I give my life to Jesus. I'll enjoy Christmas this year. So we're going to sing. We don't need any, anything on the screens. We're just going to sing just as I am. And today, just as you are, come to Jesus. Let's sing. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was 
shed for me and that thou bids me come to thee O Lamb of God I come I come just as I am just as you are today would you come to thee whose blood can cleanse each spot, O Lamb of God, I come, I come. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, again, tonight we have our journey to Bethlehem, we hope and pray you'll be here for that. Next Sunday morning, I will deliver my Christmas message because the following Sunday on the 20th, we'll have our cantata. So I do hope and pray that you'll come back uh, tonight. This Wednesday night, by the way, those who are out here in worship and, and Bible study, we will be helping the children. Those are the 200-plus children that come on Wednesday night through Journey Through uh, to Beth to Jerusalem so we'll need you here to help for that we'll not have Bible study out here we'll be helping the children and uh, to corral them as they go out and around so may the Lord bless you hope you can be back uh, uh, next week uh, it's a Christmas message that I'll have thank you Lord bless you and uh, don't ever say we didn't let you out early <laughs> so God bless you thank you I uh, don't know if we have anybody designated to pray, so I'll just pray. Would you bow with me? Father, I thank you for this incredible gift that you have provided, the gift of children. And Father, with their sensitive spirits and their tender hearts, Father, they just communicate the message of Jesus. I thank you for Christmas, and I pray that every person here, whether they have truly been able to enjoy Christmas in the past this year, this year, Father, they would embrace the meaning of Christmas. They would enjoy the time they have with family and friends. They would enjoy the opportunity to come to church and worship you. And, Father, to know you and to experience your presence. Thank you, Lord, that you came from heaven to earth to give us salvation, the greatest gift of all. I pray you would bless those who depart here. I pray that you would keep them safe. I pray you would bring people back tonight to enjoy the drama and the food. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You are dismissed.